Yes, we're back again. We are back again. Welcome to the channel for those who are new listeners. Again, I told you we're going to repair, recoup, reinvent, recreate. We're going to go to the next level. For whatever reason, we have become very obsessed with celebrity gossip celebrity relationships and what we the fatal mistake we make is trying to copycat celebrity relationships this is something that i paid attention to Uh, what i also notice is that a lot of the times people have the these adverse reactions to men getting played with divorced dumped cheated on etc and a lot of men take it to this this whole get their this whole get my lick back mentality. That is a fool's game and a immature that is for children to play. I'm gonna get my lick back. As men, we should be going into spaces to where we are in emo- we're we're impervious to any type of revenge or shame that another person does to us. Now, if it's a life or death situation or it's clear disrespect, again, you meet that how it needs to be met. But when it comes to relationship with your woman, you can now out savage her because to out savage her is to crash into the wall before she does. There is no medals or prizes for whole games. I'll say that again. There is no there are no rewards, no medals or prizes for playing whole games. Oh, you'll get a prize, but it won't be the one that you think. You'll get you'll get a prize, but you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. And one thing that I had to learn and grow with them, because after you are you come to a person with genuine intentions, you you know, you try to keep it on the up and up. And I told you that does not work either. But. It works in your favor. It just doesn't work how you would like it to. You would think you're going to keep it 100. You're going to keep it all the way honest with your chick and she's going to respect it. No, 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 no. The American woman, the westernized woman, (laughs) she has been poisoned. She has been tainted, which is why she continues to crash into that wall. You see it daily. See, the thing about the tragedies behind these terrible decisions that women make they get swept under the rug they get overlooked they get overlooked or they get made the butt of a joke so it takes the sting off of the reality that has set in they make it they make it funny so it doesn't sting as hard as it should but you go through these, again, scenarios with friends, your women, all of that. Again, these are life's experiences in which you should not run from. But as a wise man, you need to learn your lesson the first time. Do not keep going through it again. We find ourselves going through these same scenarios. You notice you go through the same scenarios with different women. Hey, they all think alike. They all say the same thing. I literally witnessed two different women in my life do and say the exact same thing at the same time. Not at the same time as far as them doing it. To When I say at the same time, I mean at the same point in the relationship. When it is on the heels of defeat, it's done, it's complete. The actions and words damn near became the exact same. And these women are years apart. Now, one would say, man, you're bullshitting. I'm I'm not bull. I don't I have no reason or no motivation to lie to you or anyone. That is, again, a weak man's game. But I say that to say this. Do not never let anyone break you. And when I say break you, meaning turn you cold, do not let people turn you into a savage. Do not try to play their game. This this life business things of. Anything of magnitude comes with losses. You're going to get your wins. You're going to get your losses. You got to take them both. 
But what social media has done to our women and to a lot of people is made people believe that some people are always on the winning end. And we know that could not be any further from the truth. No one is all, any any man's chick. Can, I'm going to do a video on that as well. I was going to make a post, but I said, I'm, I'm going to do a video. Any man's chick, any man's chick can get knocked. I don't care who you are. You can have a 19 foot dick, a billion dollars. That does not matter to a woman. The. If a just think about this, if a woman comes from money, why would you think that your money matters? She's come. She comes from a lifestyle that you cannot give her. She's already been living this certain lifestyle. So the thing with women, they tend to their wants change as they get older, as they get older. So they they tend to start pursuing this lifestyle, not knowing what comes with a man who has earned his keep. Because the thing that we do, if you do not earn it, you will take it for granted. If you do not work for it, the spoils of life that are not earned are normally and commonly taken for granted. It's a common thing that people do. They take things for granted. And therefore, those things are taken away. Do not let anyone break you and put you back, set you back, have you reverting back to your old ways, your old train of thought. Do not let do not give people that power. Because it's, I use this philosophy that when you go through heartache and all of this with friends and women, it is the most high slapping you on the back of the back of the head telling you, see, you should have been on your grind. I gave you purpose and it was not to chase women. It was not to pursue relationships with women. For whatever reason, a lot of you guys think you were put here to be women's per personal porn star. Bill Fold. And all of these other, you know, comedian, comic relief, therapy. You were not put here for that purpose. You were put here to so serve the most high. The woman was put here to serve you. You belong to God. The woman belongs to you. The kids belong to her. That's that's what a lot of people fall under. That makes that's, that makes sense. And, and I can see how that would apply. But do not let people break you. Because you're going to go through these things. If you're living life, if you're taking risks, you're going to deal with some losses. It comes with the territory. But this is what builds you. This is what molds you until into that immovable object. This is what this is a part of your building process. Yes, it's uncomfortable. Yes. If you're in a comfort zone too long, you will become weak. You will become weak. And the longer you stay in that comfort zone, the weaker you become, the longer it will take for you to get out of it and to become stronger. Learn your lesson the first time. It is by the most high and my father that I do not have any baby mothers running around. I do not have any kids running around out of wedlock. I am truly blessed to walk in that light because a lot of men have multiple baby mothers. In which they're going to see their children grow up and it is not going to be in the manner in which they think. I'm not saying that all kids that come from single parent homes or co-parent homes are going to be trouble, but there is going to be a sense of difficulty when it comes to relationships, when it comes to uh, balance, development, discipline. The man is the component that is necessary to give the child balance because for the Earlier years, the child and the mother has the strongest bond. She's she's nursing, feeding, changing, bonding, giving the love and care. You are too, but not at the rate and the frequency the mother is because you are out earning. You're building, you're protecting. So do not let people break you. Do not let people, you know, 
put you in this mode. You want to be savage and all of I, I did that before. Dude, that doesn't work. Just grow from the situation. Take that lick and go back in the lab where you should have been anyway. Take your lick and go back in the lab where you should have been anyway. And you grind till you put yourself in a position to where the spoils of life are at your feet. And the women that you want in that space are handpicked versus leftover food that didn't nobody else want. Yes, that will come with some sacrifice. You may have to go a year or two. You have to be down for you get is get there. It, it's no excuse. But people will try to break you. You know, these women are on a high horse. But again, you try to play their game. You're going to hit the you're going to go into the wall face first first. It's something like a tongue twister. You're going to go into the wall face first first. You let them crash out because, again, I, there, there are no prizes for whole games. <laughs> there are no trophies for whole games. There's no rewards on either end. There's no reward for you. Only pain, discomfort and regret. That is only that is the only thing waiting for you. The moment you try to enter into the whole Olympics, the same way you see these, a lot of these women are. Let them crash out. It's it's no different than clearing a table full of bullshit that you're not going to eat. You pick the tablecloth on one end, you you move and it's, it's nothing but the table. You put a you, you set a new table because these women that are applauding the debauchery engaging in the undercover whole activity that we know, you know, that we know their friends are uh, partaking in. You let them crash. I know the most high blessed me with a clairvoyant spirit vision. I know this to be true. I know this to be true. We all have our gifts I'm a Piscean male. I'm very clairvoyant when it comes to how I move. But I made a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes will be made. But you, I have not made any fatal mistakes. I have not made any life-altering mistakes. Life-changing mistakes to where I've hitched someone to my hip that I am not invested in, such as a woman and a child. To be a baby father in 2022 is a foolish thing to do when it's so much opportunity, so much information at your fingertips that you can use to your advantage. You can build yourself out of nothing. You can build businesses. You can create streams of revenue for yourself. You just have to tap in. I'm a living fucking witness. You have to tap in. Fasting. I practice that a lot. I do fast. I do uh, I do a lot of different things. And I tapped in. You would if you asked me this five, six years ago, I would I'd be a fool I'd be speaking foolishly if I were to think I would be what I'm doing today. If I was telling you I had this going and that going and I, you wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't believe it. But I tapped in. So I encourage you, man, to tap in. You have to. You see, you get on social media, you see a lot of bullshit every day. When you see a lot of people going right, you go left. Uh, I'm going to go left. Nah, I'm going to go this way. Whatever the ma it, it, it's so easy for you to walk your, your, your journey and walk your path now. All you have to do is get on the Internet and look at what the mass majority is doing and do the total opposite. They're on here. They're on here bullshitting. Go get in the lab. Oh, they're on here bullshitting foodies, tequila, Hennessy. Oh, go to the gym. Go buy you six gallons of water. Don't drink nothing but water for the next 30 days. Come out with your skin glowing, shirt fitted. Smooth, clear, complected, all of that pocket full of money. 
All you have to do is pay attention and do the opposite of what the masses are doing. But I do want to give this word. Never let anyone break you, turn you back, because there is nothing in your past that will benefit you. Nothing. Because if it will benefit you, it will still be in your present. But you guys, let me know what you think about this video. Like, comment, subscribe. It's the Day Master.